Hello, if you like this content, please subscribe. Um, today we're going to make these low poly rocks in Blender that have two materials on them and import them over into Unity for your video game. So let's get started. So we're going to jump right over into Blender and start a new project. Okay. We're going to go to Sculpting. Again, this is a Blender 2.8 beta, so a lot of things have changed, but the tabs are up here, Sculpting. And if you click Control shift this wagon wheel will pop up with all the different modes, and we're going to go to Edit Mode. And if you right-click the mouse, uh, uh, this uh, context menu will pop up, and you can subdivide twice. Okay, so it's low poly, uh, 96 faces, it's great for video games. Um, we're going to start sculpting this, I'll use my pen, again control tab, and we'll go into sculpt mode. So here in sculpt mode I want to change the symmetry to not mirror on X so I can make a natural looking, a more natural looking rock. Um, okay, so let's get started. Just gonna quickly brush this out. Make sure that all the edge, the sharp edges, are broken down. And I'm just going to rough this out real quick. The top, so we can make a nice grass sort of top. Okay. Okay, so we're going to switch from sculpting to the tab up here, modeling. Now in modeling, we're going to select the faces. Okay. Before we get started here, we're going to go to create a material. And we're going to just call this two tone, whoops, two tone grass rock. You can name yours however you like, just so you can remember it. Okay, that's one. Now that's going to be the color of the base color of the rock, so we want that to be a little bit brown as the rock. Again, I put these colors in here to debug. If you hit F12, you'll see that's the color of the hole. Okay. Now with the faces selected, we're going to click C, which is a paintbrush, or a, a select brush, and we're going to select all these faces on top, okay, right click, and we're going to also select the faces on the side. And every time you turn, you need to right click okay, and we're selecting all the faces on the side, and this is going to be our grass material, okay, so over here in the materials, we're going to create another material, add a new material, okay, and this is going to be called grass top. Okay, and obviously our grass top is going to be green. And then we click this button here, assign. Now it'll assign all of these faces to that color. And we'll confirm. You can see the two different tones there. No. Click A. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to go to UV editing. We want to unwrap this. So now that our materials are on here, um, we need to unwrap it. So that way when we put it into Unity, we can put the new materials on it and they'll go to their um, respective positions. Okay. Now you can see that it's um, the program has taken it and unfolded all of these UVs to here. So now it's unwrapped. Okay, now we're going to export it to Unity. Export it as an FBX file. On the left hand column here, we want to just click the mesh. You don't want to import um, the camera, lamp, and all this other stuff. You just want to import the mesh um, and the main geometry. Also, I click this experimental. And it's very important, I find it important to do this because when you're working in two dimension, um, this applies the transform so it sits right in Unity. Okay, we're going to call this grassy top 2. And I'm going to, I'm going to put it directly into my file. Um, it's in my folder here in assets and I have a folder called blender models it's gonna go neatly in there and I'm gonna export this so there it is it's over in unity let's switch back over okay I'm gonna zoom out here and go to a blank area so we can look at this rock and let me find it it's in, easy to find in my blender models grassy top 2 okay I'm gonna click on that and in the inspector, I see that it does have the two different tones on it. Let's go to materials and extract the materials. There's nothing in this folder, but it still will extract those two materials that you imported in. So you're good to go. I also go to the model and I increase the size and apply. Now this model is ready to bring in. Okay, so now we all we have to do is add uh, new materials to the top here. And let me just select this one. And you see how it changed to that grassy sort of top. And then we're going to choose a rock for the bottom part. Mm. Here's a red rock. Okay, as you can see, like I said, it's not as detailed as this one. But however, it still has the two materials on it. Let me just zoom out here. You can see it has the two different materials on it. You could select whatever materials you like here. We could play around with it. Let me, um, let me put another material on top here. How about this glass? Yeah, that looks weird. We can make it this kind of rock on top and a different kind of rock on the bottom. So here we have low poly blocks. Um, in Unity you can put any kind of material you like on there for that fits your game. And I hope this video had helped you. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.